on the main menu, you have airbag reset, battery reset, and steering angle sensor reset. So the main function is airbag reset, and that's what I'm going to focus on. So when I enter the menu, it's got the same in user interface as your other OBD Star devices. So you can search by brand, and as you can see, there are multiple brands supported. You can search by part number, which is a very vast list. You can search by brand of ECU, type of dump, and also the method, because some of the airbag ECUs can actually be done by OBD, such as these ones. So you've got a lot of Audi, Dodge, Jaguar, Jeep, Land Rover, Porsche. They can be done by OBD, and often OBD only. Some can be done OBD and bench, and some can only be done on the bench. And what you'll see is if I just go back to the main selection, if I select by brand, let's say I wanted to do a, a BMW airbag ECU. As you see from the icons on the right-hand side, you can do OBD and bench mode for a lot of these. Some of them, if I select, let's say, a Benz one, you can only do on the bench. If I look at an, some Audi ones, some are only on the bench, and you'll find some are only via OBD. So important to have a little look uh, before you start taking modules out because it might be an easy job. If we select one that is doable via bench, so if I go to a BMW module, let's have a little look. Let's try this one. I can go to guide. As you can see, this tells you a little bit about the functions of the of the device. Obviously, it supports airbag uh, modules, over 11,000 part numbers um, to erase the crash data. It tells you on the top paragraph. Now, here you've got some instructions. So this is a generic image showing you where the part numbers are and aren't and what to look out for. So you've got Bosch numbers, you've got VAG numbers. It shows you the schematic, obviously, of the P004. And again, this is something which... It's very easy to follow the diagram and you get these cables and connectors um, and this P004 within the box of the device. Now, if I go to pinout, the pinout has a photo of the plug and it tells me exactly where I need to put my connectors, power, ground, can high, can low, everywhere that you need to go. And as you see, you get different sizes of spade connector. So even though these pins are very small, you will have the relevant connector inside the box. And if I hit start, that will actually take me to the menu of doing the function. So it tells me bench P004, connect to the server, which we are connected to the server. And this is where you'll get the menu. You can read your ECU information. So obviously we read out your part number and any of the software versions or anything that's relevant to that, that module. It will read the fault codes. You can erase the fault codes and you can erase the crash data. So it's always good to actually read the fault codes and erase the fault code just to see what's there and what isn't there and erase the crash data. And obviously you can access the pinout from this menu as well. Now, as you will see, the application list is vast. It supports a whole host of brands ranging from car to light commercial. So for example, you've got Iveco on there as well. As you can see, it's got comprehensive pinouts and it's very, very easy to use. You can see on this menu, when you press start, it will tell you whether you've got OBD or whether it's by bench. There are some additional adapters that can be bought. However, for the airbag functions, you will predominantly be using P004. It's always good to have an internet connection because there's obviously updates coming through and some of the, uh, some of the functions require an online connection. And the main basic menu that you'll see is read DTC, erase DTC, and erase crash. And then it's ready to install into the vehicle with no crash data. And there we have it. There we have the uh, P50 airbag crash data clearing device.